I just want to say we're recording this the day after Martin Luther King's birthday, and I did not get to enjoy any of it because early in the morning I saw the FBI tweet out a quote of MLK, and I just went to sleep. Mm. That's not true. I, what did, what did, did they tweet out a quote that they had secretly recorded? <laughs> what, what, was it a, 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 something that they got off of a tap? Uh, what did what did they do? What did they tweet out? That's so funny. All right, so uh, six o'clock in the morning, the FBI early uh, <laughs> tweeted. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, "Ow!" No, I'm joking. Uh, uh, he once said, "Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others?" This MLK Day 2022 and every day. The FBI remains dedicated to service and committed to protecting our communities. Wow. Okay. No irony. Did they, did, when they put protecting in communities, did they put those two words in quotes? By any chance? <laughs> was it, no, they, was they, it, did they go, <laughs> we're, 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 we're determined to protect our communities, <laughs> especially of color and muslims <laughs> and then a winky emoji that's kind of mind-boggling you, you think the it's, fbi would sit this one out do you think the people running the fbi social media sort of know what's the history or you think it's like some intern who's like let's just uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna make a guess that the people running the fbi social media are not fbi they're kids I don't mean kids like 11 year olds, but like 20 somethings. <laughs> uh -huh. And that the, they wouldn't have any idea that, that the FBI notoriously listened in on Martin Luther King's conversations to destroy him. I think that's a good guess. There's a tough meeting going on as we speak mm -hmm. where, where they're bringing in these like 19 year old kids and they're like, hey, listen, you know, us and Martin Luther King have a complicated relationship. So. Maybe, you know, let's tweet Mega Evers instead. Do you, do you think they're bringing in, they go, Emily Rose and Maxwell, could you guys come in here, please? <laughs> um, I don't know what they taught you at Oberlin, but we really need to not necessarily bring up Martin Luther King, or really, if, if I can, anybody from the civil rights era, I, I think we want to lay low on. <laughs> As far as this is concerned. Oh, really? Because we've got a great Fred Hampton thing we want to put out. No, nope, I don't think that's the way to go here. I love that Oberlin <laughs> is like a path to the FBI. It has to be. It's got to be. Yeah.